right hey guys welcome back to my channel uh thank you very much for showing so much love for my previous channel well, previous video <laughs> but i'm joined by tino i'm here <laughs> yeah so today we're just going to be discussing more on um we're not going to take much of time but we're just going to be discussing more on if you want, would want to study like for a postgraduate or like a master's degree in the university of zimbabwe and the uh the the advantages and disadvantages of studying for a master's at the university of zimbabwe this is just for our personal experience confirm actually i will use it it's use it chikomo, right? chikomo, chikomo. Yeah. but is this still chikomo, 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 like i think it still is the way it used to be mm -hmm. back in the 90s mm, i don't know i feel like standards wise maybe but not like just be honest Give us your no. honest opinion. My honest opinion, ka. Yeah. Use it. My standards are sharp, dark, and rich, wadi. Cause like, I know maybe this video might go viral or not, but then to be honest, to be honest there's yeah. a lot this of is an issues. Yeah. Because like, we would want to to be honest to yeah undergrad students who would want to apply for postgrads. Yes. Yeah, of course. Let's it shouldn't let, come with high hopes. With high hopes. Yeah, so of first off, we want to talk about near noise. Yeah, of course, yeah. Literally, yeah, no, it's, no, yeah. it's something that is always been disturbing. Disturbing. Do you know when I was in part one, like to be honest, I never really experienced much of the noise. And I know when was some. It? When was it, by the way? 2014. Yes, That's like how many years ago? I can't yeah, count. Yeah, so many years. So many years ago. You, you know what? Yeah. I was born for birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm an old, I'm an old baby. Serious. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even dream to be a postgrad student that you said by then. By then? Yeah, of course. Who knew? For me, like, I still remember I was, I wanted to study in Canada. Like, I was that kid. I was like, yes, I'm going to go out of the country and study there. I did go. I had my opportunity of studying outside of the country. It was great. I will do like, a, I think I have a video. I'll link it up um, where I share my experiences when I started in China. But then in 2014, I was part one. We didn't have like noise, you know. And um, it was nice, and I faced my own struggles. For example, I never made friends. Friends. Which takes to my next point. Friends. Is it because you were... No, I, I, I don't know, like... You were an introvert? I, mm -mm, I'm an extrovert. I think maybe I'm an extrovert who's also an introvert at the same time. Yeah. I never had friends. The only friends that I had were like the boffins, like the smart people in class. So when they would give us like a group, um, group work, that's when I would be, you know, be around them and stuff. But you know, people would go out for parties and what, what, what. For me, it wasn't, kind of it wasn't my thing. And part one, I was um, in accommodation with NC Five Fuk. I hated it. Is it the one called Baghdad? I don't know. No, I was with NC Four. NC Four. Yeah, I was with NC Four. Okay, okay, okay. Um. And it was quite an experience. I didn't really like it. And I ended up telling my parents, like, no, I want to be, be home. <laughs> oh, yeah, mommy's baby. Yeah, mommy's baby. <laughs> as much as I know. Yeah, you know, I was like, mommy's baby, I need to go. So, but yeah, no, it's my supposed babes. to tell them, good to yes, to mommy's baby, even up to now. Yes, I still am. Good to your mom drove here to come back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, 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 she's too mommy's baby. I am. Still, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, to be, uh, I'm hmm? not shy. Yeah, of course, I know. I'm not shy about it. So, back to our story. Mm -hmm. When you want to apply for a postcard, it is it. Yeah. First thing first, to those who would want to apply, mm -hmm. please don't come with full hopes. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's, it's hard. Uh, the standards are uh, just. Because, like, sometimes even the courses, they kind of don't make sense. Yes, kind of For make instance, sense. like, you know, that social media management course. course. To be honest, I'm like, what? Why Not only the courses, per se, mm. but even the naming of their degree the programs. The degree programs. They're kind of misleading. Like, let's take, for instance, someone is studying multimedia production design systems. Yeah. But, yeah, which is kind of someone it looks like a, an appealing name mm -hmm. but if you then go to the cost structures the cost content mm -hmm. and the name mm -hmm. 
it's kind of diverge you it is which is worrisome so these are some of the things you would then notice after you have endured <clears throat> yeah of course it would be too late for you to, to to go back and not and redo the whole process all over again oh, of course and um another issue that i think it's now getting worse maybe because of covid or things like that is to do with internet like ict issues ICT, my god especially when you want to access the results especially you imari really doesn't work or you want to research mm. the internet is kind of yeah like right now is it working yeah i think today it's kind of because maybe they are banana one yeah of course. but when it's like busy like school days oh my god you and cannot even use the well. wi-fi <laughs> it's the person you can't even use the wi-fi at all so it's kind of like so that as well worse um and it's even worse for like students who are studying like a media program or like an ICT program graphic designing and stuff it gets difficult but however it's fun i think we have just been talking about all the bad stuff maybe like the good stuff what's the good stuff uh the good stuff i would say mhm mm uh, the infrastructure it's getting better uh, i was about to talk about facilities though yeah of course mm -hmm. the infrastructures are they quite okay mhm mm uh, the furnitures, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are the lips. They're getting better. I think I'll just do like a little 360 of our lab, the one that we are always in and using. This one I think is better con considering we've got like yeah, the stuff that we need as media students. Media you know. students, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, but. And one thing that I, I like the most mm -hmm. about UZ is mm -hmm. they have tried to accommodate even the disability. The disability, yeah. the disabled people. Yeah, the DRC. Yeah, through creating those ramps. Mm. They've done that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. I think uh, it's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And still on that, there are more like infrastructure and more degree programs to choose from, which is also a good thing because there's like the trans tech yeah, uh, building yeah, across yeah, our, yeah, our yeah, building, yeah, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah which is pretty cool like i see there are more like buildings around the university campus like they're really trying to expand the space and uh i last um, no i think last week on friday it was um orientation week or it's maybe it still is orientation week right orientation week for, for the new freshies at school what wrong yeah because it was like loaded last mm. week and the posters uh, are everywhere isn't it the that school. they are still enrolling Oh yeah, they're still enrolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Since they're still enrolling. Since eleven results were out recently, oh, no I think maybe they're still these taking newly fresh results, they're kind of applying for mm. their undergrad mm -hmm. programs. Yeah. yeah so course. and we do have like a ton of programs to choose from, which is great. Um, and you know, I know a lot of people they're always saying that University of Zimbabwe must have a degree when but someone a degree, but I don't think that's true because in the whole country, which university starts with the university? This one. Think about, it. <laughs> think about it. You should come and apply here. I think it's cool. But speaking on issues to do with facilities, I feel like there are too many students and the facilities are like struggling. Let's talk about it. Yeah. You said you were here in 2014. Oh. How was the population then? The population, yeah. Let me tell you the truth. And I still remember it wasn't as packed as it is now. Like the way we are like so many. You know, right now it's like so many students, like people everywhere. And we have two intakes again. So it's kind of like lot <laughs> do you think it's a good move for you it to have two intakes no because the facilities are not enough I see so what advice would you give to the vice chancellor the dean of students or anyone in the administration mm -hmm. who is into the enrollment program i think they should really look at how they are suffocating their whole school but instead they should really focus on the one intake that we already had which was august and we stick to that 
because I see that there's like more buildings like around the university and that's great but then Tangyama pays a bit so then you can have like a second um, a roll out a roll out here my new programs or getting in for like my new students and all this because that's also even like causing issues because now people are graduating in December we used to graduate in September like September, September, yeah. September October yeah you'll be done yeah, but now you have to like wait till the end of the year some of us we might not even be in the country like let's be honest yeah you're gonna just wait for the whole year to get your graduation nah we don't got no time for that like i'm sorry but so yeah that's how it is i don't know at the same time for you to have two intakes there is need for the administration to first consider accommodation yes the students Mm -hmm. Because the last time I checked, there was stampede Yo. in the halls of residence. That's crazy. Serious, because quite a number of students couldn't secure accommodation. Accommodations. And if they would want to secure accommodation mm-hmm. outside campus, off campus, like mm-hmm. in Mount Pleasant. Mm-hmm. It was hard. It, it is already hard, because what's it's the hard. next best thing? It's Mount the Pleasant. Will be, the landlord will be wanting more money. Asking. It's horrendous. <laughs> it's horrendous. That's yes, what we're talking about. You can't it's even. Very unfortunate yeah. that today you didn't hear tractors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but there are also so many tractors. Tractors, so yeah, around tracks. you. Of course. Yeah. This is just for you. For you. But so there's nothing you can do, do about, about it. it. Yeah. But all in all, I think it's a good university. Like, let's talk about the, the, um, the uh, the essence of the information that you learn. Like, if you're someone who really, really wants say. to learn, Not really, per se. really. Yeah, have you ever heard about the large numbers of youth lecturers? Mm-hmm. Of, to be specific, music professors mm-hmm. who are migrating. Uh huh. Who are migrating from the school? Like I was saying, thumbnail moment. I was saying, mm. have you ever heard the large numbers of UZ lecturers who are migrating from UZ going abroad? Really? And quite a number of lecturers mm. that are at UZ, part of them are contract workers. Oh, so they're not even like part of the system like you that. See. Mm. Which is something that should be talked about. Yeah, because they are more of like more my PhD students, and us the master students, we also like lecture sometimes. Mm-hmm. So it's like that as well. But you know, honesty, like to be honest, when I started studying for this program, um, I'll put it on the screen. But it's um, it's multimedia design production systems, um, and we are more like in media, but we are looking at the development of communication and how we can use media for I'm, I apologize for the noise in the background because yeah like we <laughs> like we mentioned in the video it's use it can be very noisy but then uh, I learned a lot like as as a person you know because I didn't even know that you know how geopolitics work how it work you know like a lot of information that I really didn't know about but now I know about it which is cool so guys um yeah so this is it we are done uh we just wanted to have like a little chit chat with you guys um yeah i think you should also check out the website like the university of Zimbabwe website for new degree programs and other things um but yeah comment down in the section below if you want to like know more about you, the university of zimbabwe like about programs or, or how to apply programs and masters even yeah. or even diplomas because i did a diploma here as well yeah, they are yeah. Like, they're like a ton yeah i heard a friend of mine say we secured this certificate for for what monitoring and evaluation oh yeah it's also it's here year, as well yeah yeah. So you, there's a lot that you can do. You don't have to be an academia. You can just be anything. <laughs> the world is your oyster. 
So I'll see you next in my video. Uh, my next what video, right? Yeah, video. See you next time. So bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Yeah. Thank you for saying that because yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> bye. Same